Hi, my name is Tina, and I'll be um, talking about the book I chose for my book report, which was This Will Be My Undoing by Morgan Jenkins. Um, I found myself um, pulling towards this book because um, something about sharing um, life experiences and connections and also seeing how relatable these experiences can be for people and sharing them is um so interesting to me um i felt like even though like i even though some of the experiences the author went through i haven't gone through there are some that i have um share some similarities with um one of the things that the author talked about was how she didn't really feel like she was fitting in um how you're taught at a young age to conform yourself to fit into um, society and especially for a black person to fit into the white society and so um, she also talks about how it was quite hard for her to maintain um, an image of herself being black like keeping up with strenuous beauty routines hair routines um, but then also keeping up with um, AP classes and extracurriculars. She felt like so torn and um, not accepted by either the, her black um, classmates for being not, for not being black enough, um, but also not quite fitting in with her white, I mean, yeah, her white classmates. Um, so she, she felt like she knew never truly um had a place where she could fit um and she eventually realizes that she has to stop trying to be like everyone else and focus on things that make her happy um she also mentions um a lot about spirituality and um being a prayer woman which um, i personally can't really relate to just because i don't really um, I, I'm not really spiritual and I don't quite have, um, I don't really have much belief in the supernatural or believe that, um, someone has an ability to see the future or, um, possess control over what can happen in the future. Um, and... She also mentions um, how different experiences have led her to have unique experiences um, that not everyone else can be can understand, but um, especially being black and being a woman, um, and so um, I could relate to that because I feel like being a woman is already hard enough people are constantly questioning you if and your abilities but also being a person of color being black is even harder um but the book shifted my thinking regarding how to label myself because there are so many labels i can give myself and i can focus on more positive labels um, that i can use to like build myself up and discover more parts of myself um the most impactful piece of this book for me was when the author spoke about um being in japan during the trial of george zimmerman and she felt um anguish with the verdict um the shame that, that she saw um of the fame of people from J japan and then the guilt she felt for being alive while Trayvon Martin was not um it taught that part taught me to be more sensitive to people and what they're going through because different people have different stories uh, different demons they have different views um and like I really like I'm um, truly believe like when people say that there are two sides to each story everyone sees something differently um and that's what makes everyone unique um and so yeah i felt like um 
overall the book made me realize that my voice is just as important as anyone else's um i feel like whether it's standing up for someone else um a community a group or myself um i'm still i still have a voice and it's just as important and um yeah um i felt like it's important to make sure i use my voice whenever i can to stand up um whether you feel like someone is listening or not um i think it's important to express what you believe in um and i i believe that my voice is as just as important as anyone else um and i deserve to take up space and disrupt the status quo um I owe it to myself to make sure I do. Yeah, thank you.